Here you go, fish on. There we go, fish. Welcome to the Super Strike Channel. I'm here at the Bow River again. Before I came here, I tied some uh, like this uh, hopper flies, grass hopper flies, and uh, uh, beadhead caddis pupper fly. That. So just like uh, same as the last week, I'm trying to the Hopper dropper target in the bigger trout. Yeah, last time I got a lot of bite, but mostly a small. Then I missed a lot, and uh, I hooked uh, the bigger one that couldn't land there. So this time I want to catch some uh, bigger ones using the hopper dropper system. Yeah. So far I don't see any fish rising, but. Hope oh, catch some trout today. Okay, let's get started. Oh, comfortable. Water is uh, cool enough. Yeah. <sighs> Fish right in there. Nice. Oh, there the fish. Okay, I saw the fish rising, but it looks like a small. Fish are so picky and uh, I need a more delicate cast so I just stopped the I stopped using the scaddy head and change into the scandy head. Yeah, using the scandy line and uh, see using the pori reader floating. Here you go, fish on. There we go, fish. Nice one. Ooh. Oof. 
Ooh. Nice. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, not really. 16, 16, 17. Yeah. But still, yeah. It, yeah, first fish today. So. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <sighs> I do quick breathe. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a nice one. But yeah, not super big, like 16, 17 inches. Beautiful rainbow trout on uh, uh, where's my trout? Caddis imager on top and uh, the bottom uh, bead head caddis pupper size 14, 16, something like that. And uh, he took the bead head caddis pupper. Yeah, I feel so good. Yeah. <sighs> nice. Oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, my disc rod, Echo Classic, uh, five weight uh, switch rod. You know, this grain window is 270 to 330. Yeah, many people following the this grain window. Yes, it's the most important. You know, scientific angles, spay light, Scanty line is uh, uh, it's very versatile. It's more uh, beginner friendly. You go fish on. Not the big.
Oh, pretty nice. There you go. Oop. Yeah, this little guy take the upper fly, which is a caddis, uh, caddis emerger, not be the head. Mm. Nice. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Go fish on. Little one. Little brown trout, rainbow trout. Okay, thank you. Looks like a brown trout. Thank you. Sun goes down. Yeah, the sunset. It was a hot day, but uh, it's uh, getting cold. Jesus. Yeah, I stay in the water. It's getting cold now, but yeah, I caught a lot of trout today with the uh, caddis emerger and the beet head caddis pupper. Uh, one is a nice size, like a 16, 17 inches. He was a good fighter. Yeah, unfortunately, a hopper fly didn't work today, but caddis flies are it's pretty good. Well, actually, caddis is always good any time of year at Bow River. My beadhead caddis pupa is a pretty simple and easy to tie. Yeah, some people tie in more nice looking uh, caddis pupa, but mine is uh, this simple. It's, it's not the perfect looking, but it still works. So, end of the this trip, I show you uh, how to Hi, my uh, easy caddis pupper, bead head caddis pupper. Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, it's getting cold. Yeah, it's time to go home now. Actually, I'm going home now. So, okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you at the next episode. Bye.
Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Oh, it's beaver. Oh, scary. Where is it? Where is he? Oh, here it is. Beaver. Come on. Oh, no. Ooh. 